Hello and welcome back to Rogmar. In this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at the wild and wonderful world of dinosaurs. Our role for today is to identify and describe the characteristics of various dinosaurs. So let's jump right into it. Oh god, this doesn't feel safe. Let's uh, move to a slightly brighter and safer part of the jungle. Hmm, what's this? An old photo. Do you have any idea what that man in the photo is doing? Pause the video and have a good close look. That man is a paleontologist. It's his job to study fossils. Remember, fossils are the petrified remains of plants and animals that lived long ago. This fella here is excavating a dinosaur fossil. Can you see them? Paleontologists can use fossils of dinosaurs to help them figure out what dinosaurs used to look like. Fossils don't just include bones, by the way. Sometimes, a fossil could be a dinosaur's poo. That can help paleontologists figure out what the dinosaurs used to eat. We don't know everything there is to know about dinosaurs, but we have learned a lot from their fossilized remains. See if you can answer any of these dinosaur-related questions. Can you name any dinosaurs? Do you know when they lived on Earth? Do you know where on Earth they lived? Do you know when they went extinct? And do you know what they ate? Pause the video and see if you can answer any of these questions. Dinosaurs lived millions of years ago and roamed the Earth for millions of years more. The first dinosaurs pop up on our radar about 248 million years ago. They were the bosses of Earth for around 182 million years before they suddenly went poof. If that sounds impressive, remember that the very first humans only started to wander around about 1 or 2 million years ago. Just like animals these days, there were lots of different types of dinosaurs organized into different groups. I like to think of them like super secret clubs. First, we have the super scary theropods. We also have the very spiky stegosaurs. Then we had the very stretchy sauropods, the very colorful ornithopods, the very pointy ankylosaurs, the very angry looking ceratopsians, and last but not least, the absolutely impossible to say Pachycephalosaurus, or something like that. So without further ado, let's go meet these not so beautiful beasts and see which club you fit into best. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Theropods! You really don't want to mess with these guys. They're the largest carnivores of the dinosaur world. They have two feet with sharp claws for tearing apart meat. They also have razor sharp teeth for munching on their prey. You probably already know the famous T-Rex, but other theropods are the Allosaurus, a Velociraptor, and the Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus was the largest carnivore ever recorded. He was over 16 meters long. Next up we have the Stegosaurs. These large stocky herbivores ate a huge amount of plants to keep the weight piled on. They had these fancy bone plates along their spines for defense. Not to mention that fashionable spiky tail. You probably know the Stegosaurus, famous for its fancy appearance and its tiny brain. Despite its huge body, this fella only had a brain the size of a walnut. Moving swiftly along, we have the Sauropods. Hide and seek is easy with these guys because of their extremely long necks. Sauropods are herbivores who use their long necks to nibble on the tasty leaves and fruit at the top of trees. Some famous sauropods include the Diplodocus, Brachiosaurus, and the Saltosaurus. 
Sauropods were known to travel in huge herds, stripping leaves from trees and swallowing them whole. Well, what do we have here then? It's the Ankylosaurs. These four-legged herbivores are built like a tank, literally. They have a fully armored body and spikes for defense. You don't want to pick a fight with these slow movers. They were known to fight off carnivores in one-on-one -on -one battle. Oh no, not these guys again. The Pachycephalosaurs, oh, there you go, are well known for having a name that is nearly impossible to say without sounding like a total idiot. Speaking of idiots, these dinosaurs were known as Hickheads. These herbivores had unusual bumps on the top of their skulls. Nobody knows for sure, but paleontologists like to think that they use these bumps for headbutting contests. But who knows? Maybe they just like to wear fancy hats? Next up are the Ceratopsians. These guys are well known for having the absolute worst name meaning. Hornface. And you can see where they get the name from. These herbivores had, well, you guessed it, horns on their faces. They also had a fancy frill around their face for extra protection. The most famous ceratopsian, the Triceratops, had a weird beak-like mouth, kind of like a bird. And we've saved the fanciest to last. The ornithopods were the real advanced class of dinosaurs. Think the Albert Einstein of the dinosaur world. What made them so smart, you ask? Well, these geniuses could walk on both two feet or four feet. They were show-offs like that. Some of the famous members of this group include the Iguanodon and this other guy whose name I can't say. Haha, <laughs> look who's dropped in! It's Maga the Magalosaurus! This beautiful fellow was the first ever dinosaur to be given a scientific name all the way back in 1824. What kind of dinosaur do you think he was? And what can you figure out about him from the picture? Pause the video and put down a few answers. Okay, it's quiz time! Welcome to Who's That? Dinosaur! We'll have five rounds, three choices each time. All you have to do is name that dinosaur. And don't forget, some of these fellas are carnivores, so try not to offend them by calling them the wrong name. Here we go, round one. Who's that dinosaur? Pause the video and write down an answer. The answer is... Spinosaurus! Nice back frill, sir. Round two. Who's that dinosaur? Pause the video and write down an answer. Why, it's Ankylosaurus! And what beautiful spikes you have. Round three. Who's that dinosaur? Pause the video and write down an answer. Why, it's a Brachiosaurus! Watch your head on the way out! Round four! Who's that dinosaur? Pause the video and write down an answer. Why, it's Stegosaurus! Our walnut-brained friend! Round five! Who is that dinosaur? Pause the video and write down an answer. Why, it's Diplodocus, the dinosaur so long he doesn't even fit in the studio. That's the end of our quiz. Can the losing contestants please make their way to the T-Rex pen? That's all we have time for this week. Until next time, take care.